Today we're going to learn about the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder has a special formula. V equals pi r squared times h, or V equals pi r squared h. Pi r squared is of course the area of a circle, times the h. What's the h? The h is the height, the total height of the cylinder. So V equals pi r squared h. Let's look at some examples to understand this better. In this example we have a cylinder and we are told that the radius is 7 and the height is 5 centimeters. Now we are asked to find the volume correct to two decimal places. When we are working out volume, again always just like area, we write our formula. V equals pi r squared h pi times radius squared times the height of the cylinder. We substitute the information, like any formula, pi times radius is 7, 7 squared, the height of the cylinder is 5. Grab your calculator and let's do this together. Pi times 7 squared times 5. The volume, 769.69 and 0, and it continues on. That is the volume of the cylinder. We are asked to round off the volume to two decimal places, 769.69 cubic centimeters. Very important, we're working out volume. Volume, cubic, centimeters. 769.69 cubic centimeters. That is the volume of this cylinder. Let's do some more examples. The next question we can see, it says find the volume of this figure correct to two decimal places. We can tell that this is not a full cylinder. Not a full cylinder. It's in fact half a cylinder. So when we work out the volume, what are we going to do? We're going to half the volume. Let's do that. V equals pi r squared h. That's the formula for a full cylinder. A full cylinder. So now we are going to work out the volume for a full cylinder and then at the end, half it. V equals pi times the radius. We know the radius is actually 10. It's marked with a red arrow. The radius is 10 centimeters squared. That's the formula times by the height, which is 22 centimeters. That will give us the volume for a full cylinder. Let's do that. Pi times 10 squared times 22. 6,911.5038, and it continues on. We are now going to half it. We're going to divide by 2. We are looking for half a cylinder. Divide by 2, 3,455.75 cubic centimeters. The answer, the volume for this half of a cylinder is 3,455.75 cubic centimeters. Again, we have to look at the diagrams in detail. We notice it is a cylinder, but it's in fact a half a cylinder, a cylinder that's been cut in half. So we work it out as a normal cylinder and then divide by 2. Our answer is 3,455.75 cubic centimeters. Let's do one more example. The next example, we can see that we have a cylinder but it has a hole in it. So it's like a pipe. It goes through, the hole goes through, straight through the whole cylinder. So what are we going to do? We have a large cylinder and it's been cut right in the middle. It goes straight through in the middle. So what do we do here? We have a large cylinder, take away a small cylinder. A large cylinder, take away the small one. 
Let's work out the large one. Take away the one inside. We're going to work out the leftover, which is the figure we have there. Starting with the formula, v equals pi r squared h. For the large cylinder, we're going to work out the volume of the large cylinder first. We know that pi times the radius. The radius of the large cylinder is going to be 4. Where do we get 4 from? We know that the diameter is 8 centimeters. Half of the diameter is the radius. The radius is 4 squared. And the height, the total height of the cylinder is 14. Let's work out and find the volume of the large cylinder. Pi times 4 squared times 14, 703.716, and the answer keeps going. Now we're going to work out the volume of the smaller cylinder, that way we can take it away next. The smaller cylinder, V equals pi R squared H. V equals pi times the radius of the smaller cylinder is going to be 2.5 because the diameter is 5. So half of 5, it's 2.5. The diameter is 5. Half of 5 is the 2.5 and that is the radius. 2.5 squared and the height of the total cylinder is 14 as well. Let's work it out. Pi times 2.5 squared times 14, 274.889 and it keeps going. Now we're going to take away the small cylinder from the large cylinder to work out that shape, that figure, without the small cylinder inside. So the large cylinder is 703.716. Take away our answer, which was 274.889. The volume is going to be 428.8. Three cubic centimeters to two decimal places, 428.83 cubic centimeters. That is the volume of this figure. We worked out the total volume of the whole cylinder. Take away the cylinder in the middle, the hole in the middle, which is in a shape of a cylinder. There it is here. So we did this volume, take away that volume, and we get the total 428.83. This is how to work out the volume of a cylinder. Remember the formula, V equals pi R squared H.